Hello. Hello, hello. Hey guys, anybody there? I know I said eight o'clock, but I had to figure out how to do an Instagram live. I've never been on Instagram live before. <laughs> I've done Facebook live, but not Instagram. Welcome. Hey, Layla Dress. How's it going? Can you see me? <laughs> see if I can get my camera so you can see me. Is that good? Is the lighting good? I hope my lighting is good. It's pretty dark over here. <laughs> See if I can cut my light up. Hello, how's it going, guys? I am the admin of my little curvy world. Can you see me? Hey, Doll Township. You guys finally get to see me. <laughs> I'm the lady behind the dolls. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Thank you. We were going to talk about these doors because um, I did a lot of the building and um, wanted to do some of the detailing with you guys so that you can know how I make my diorama sets. So I really hope you guys are here to learn as well as get to know me i like to share what i'm doing hi <laughs> i am lady tay some people call me coach i'm also a life coach too but um i love dolls i've always loved dolls since i was a little girl matter of fact i've been collecting dolls since i was a little girl <laughs> So, um, I'm doing something that I love. I, I love hanging out with you guys, and, and I love that, that we have the same interests. Anyway, I have uh, Miss Jazzy here. You guys already know her. <laughs> and this is her house. A lot of people have been wanting to know what, what doll is she, so I, I got to... Um, extra one here so that you guys can see who she who she is can you see it the Barbie look oh no my lighting is kind of weird can you see that Anyway, this is the doll that um, Jazzy is. You can probably still find her on, on um, Amazon. She's a, she is the main character here that I use. Um, I have other characters too mm -hmm. that I still use. Uh, one thing I love about using um, Jazzy is um, she's a mom like I am. So I, I really relate to her because, you know, a lot of the things that she goes through as being a mom and being a woman and a black woman, <laughs> I can relate to a lot of the things that um, she will probably feel. So this is Jazzy, y'all. This is Jazzy. This is, this is an extra one that I, I want to keep, you know, as a collector's item. But um, 
she it was inspiring when I first seen her because um, she was the first black jointed curvy that I've ever seen. They probably had other ones out before her, but she was the first one that I ever saw. And um, I just like her smile. <laughs> I, I really liked her smile and I, I liked, you know, her flashy looking stuff that she had with her. And, um, you know, like I said in my post, it, the first thing I was thinking was she looked really flashy or, or, or jazzy. She looked jazzed up. You probably heard your grandmother say that word before. I know mine did. She looked jazzed up in the in her um dress there. So that's kind of how I came up with the with the name. Um I always liked the name Jasmine. Um like a flower. And um her musical background is a um saxophonist. You guys don't know that I also um played in the band. So I played tenor sax and I played clarinet too. So I kind of she's kind of that side of me as far as music. I mean, I love music. I love all kinds of music. Um especially jazz. <laughs> so um I, I say all the dolls that I use kind of have like a um, a facet of me. You know how we all have our mini me. I haven't created a mini me, but um, personality wise, ambitious wise, um, kind of um, what I um, all of them have my ambition. Like um, the first doll I had on my channel, Shannon, she sews and I sew, you know, and, and I, I took up fashion marketing and fashion design in high school. So um, I used to design and do sketches of clothes and stuff. So um, I guess I'm using all those talents now. Uh, yes, we're going to do some the door tutorial, but. This is my very first live uh, Fairy of Wind, and I just kind of wanted to introduce myself because I've never, even though I've been here since 2016, I've never done a Facebook Live, so I just kind of, you see me? It said my video was paused. Let me know if you guys can still see me. Can you still see me? Okay, I'm still on. Okay. What I was saying was I kind of wanted to introduce myself tonight because, you know, I've been here since 2016 on Instagram, but I've never introduced myself. And, you know, one of the reasons why is because, you know, I had to get, I guess, used behind the camera. Also, um... I wanted you guys to love my work more than, you know, before I got to talking about myself because, you know, I wanted you guys to, to experience my channel and, and love my work. See if you love my work first. But, um, yes, we're going to um, talk about the doors. I'm going to be working on this throughout the week. I'm not going to um, do the whole thing tonight, but I can tell you. Um, most of the stuff that I make are from, um, recyclables. They're made out of cardboard. I make everything out of cardboard. I may use some foam boards for like the ceiling because the ceiling is, is, um, I like to be able to have lighting coming out the ceiling and I, I, I like it to be solid, but, um, the dioramas, all the houses are um, made out of cardboard. That's one of the things that um, I liked about Froggy when I first saw her channel online is that her her 
beginning videos that I saw, she was usually mostly um, cardboard. And I feel like most people can um, relate to that because a lot, you know, some people don't have a whole lot of money. So, you know, I wanted to um, show a way that you can make things without a lot of money. I mean, what, what we make here, um, anybody can make. You know, everybody can find cardboard. You can go to Sam's Club and find some cardboard. But um, I just want to um, let you guys know that I'm going to be working on the doors all week long. Um, I'm not going to, probably not going to announce when I'm going to come on because I'm just going to randomly come on and just work. Every time I work on the dollhouse, I'm just going to cut on my camera. Because, you know, with me having a son um, homeschool, sometimes I don't know when I'll be able to come on. So I'm just going to come on. But um, what I use for, um, for Jazzy's doors, she's from New Orleans. So they use a lot of wrought iron. And um, what I did is I went to Pinterest. And I found some um, pictures that I liked of some doors. Let's see if I can find that picture right quick. One moment. I can't find the picture right now, but um, you could use any picture. Like this is wrought iron. Just print out a picture of what you like. And what you do is you put plastic from packaging that you got from your um, dolls or anything. And you just get um, a marker. You just get a marker. And you trace. So that's what I did with the doors. I traced it onto here. And that's how I was able to get that. Now, if you want your windows to be frosty, you can use tracing paper or some kind of parchment. If you want it to still be where you can see through it a little bit, you can get some tracing paper. I got this from Amazon and what you do is, oh, I'm excited guys. I'm going to show you all kind of stuff that I'll be doing. What you do is you kind of want it stable. So you want it. Hold it like that. Because I want her windows to be frosted so that I don't have to worry about the background. I don't have to worry about putting a sky in the background or anything like that. Um, unless she opens the door or whoever is opening the door. So it's just going to be opaque where you can just see a little sunlight come through. And um, what you do, pretend this is a picture that I downloaded from Pinterest. Okay. Make sure you size it just like you want it. And you just trace it. You just trace it like that. Can you see me? some of this stuff out the way. I know my, my creation station is a little messy. That means I've been working. <laughs> okay. See how I'm tracing it. If you'd rather do it with pencil at first, you could do that. Um, it doesn't matter. But if you're using tracing paper, just make sure you don't smudge it. I'm 
just go slow. You can always go back. You can always go back and make it thicker. And you just trace it like that. Super easy. I like to play music when I'm um, crafting. I don't know if you guys do. Uh, most of the times when I'm doing my tutorials, I will have some jazz music or something in the background. But like I said, tonight I just wanted to introduce myself. If you're just coming in, my name is Lady Tay. Did you say something to me? Okay, how you trace it on the plastic without smearing it? You just make sure when you're when you're tracing, you don't put your finger or hold your finger on there. Hold your hand on there. Make sure you're very careful. I mean, it dries pretty quick. Once it dry, you won't smear it. But you got to be very careful while you're drawing it. That you don't have your hand, this part of your hand, on the paper from where you, I guess you need to trace from here over or from here over so your hand won't be where you just um, had it. But um, it dries pretty quick. And you just do that. You can make it as thin as you want. You can make it as thick as you want. This just a basic Sharpie, y'all. And when, you, when you're done, you can either leave it on this plastic. I already pre-cut this so it fits in here like that. The way I do my doors, um, it's two cardboards glued together. You leave an indention here, and you leave an indention up here. That way, when you're done, you just push the window in. It's real easy to push the window in. You can put um, paper around it to hide the creases of it to give it detail. That's basically what I do with my crown molding is um, I, I put extra paper on my crown molding. Um, to cover up, to give the room detail. With, I'll show you how to do crown molding too. Not tonight, but sometime this week I'll do some because I want to put some crown molding around the doors, the door frames. So you guys going to see me do, do all of this. I'm going to do the door frames here. I'm going to put a window here. Um, I'm going to put some... Not sure if I'm going to put like a little bench. I'm probably going to put like a little bench right here with the um, mirror. You know, like when you come in people's houses, they have something to hang the coats on. So I probably won't put full crown molding there or what they call it, one, one, one spotting. But I may put some here, around here. I didn't glue the table on the wall yet because I wanted to... Uh, Make sure I put the molding that I wanted to put here first. Yes, I did want to put molding here. I wasn't sure at first, but I decided I wanted to. Hey, how are you doing? So um, you're going to see me put details. The whole week I'm going to be working on putting details on this foyer here. So you're going to see me put molding around the frame. You're going to see me put... Um, the uh, molding here and like I said I might put like a little bench or something right here um, and a mirror I found um, some mirrors at the Dollar Tree you know all you have to do is um, hot glue them on the wall so um, we're gonna make this doorway pretty because uh, I want it to, to have some scenes where um, you see them coming in the door or you see their guests coming in 
or you see them waiting for a package or something. And you guys in for a treat because I didn't do the other side. So you're also going to see me do the front porch side as well. Hey, we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I'm behind on their house because I had to move. And when I, moved, I had to um, break down, their, they, their house used to be um, a full structure. But when I had to move into a smaller dwelling, I had to break their houses down to a wall, to walls. So I got a lot of work to do. And um, you could just do, the, do them with me, you know. I love sharing what I do. It's fun. So, you know, you can watch me. Um, I pretty much built the whole structures. I just need to add details. Now, if you have any questions about how to build the structure of a room box, I'll be happy to share that with you if you have any questions about that one day. But it's just basically um, cardboard and paper. Now, there is differences in cardboard. You want strong cardboard. You don't want cheap cardboard. If you do use cheap cardboard, you want to make sure that the cardboard, you double it up. Um, there, I call some cardboard building cardboard, and I, saw, I call some cardboard detailing cardboard. So some cardboards you want to use for detailing, like for crown molding or to add definition 3d effect to your rooms um, or building furniture that's another thing I make all my furniture so if you want to learn how to make furniture you are in the right place I'm actually gonna show you guys how I made the Jenkins dining room set too So I'm going to be on here a lot. Anybody there? How's your day been? Like I said, I'm going to make, going to play music and stuff because I want to make sure that it's a, a lively live. It's a tutorial as well as it's fun. You'll get to meet my son sometimes, and he's going to be on here. Oh, and my son helps me with um, the chandeliers and stuff. Can you hear me? Oh, you asking, is there a house back there? <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's the Jenkins house back there on the floor. That's their house. I break it down so I can take pictures. <clears throat> can you see? That's the Jenkins house back there. And that's also my storage. I store, I store the Jenkins house up there on the top shelf when I'm not um, filming. I have to because I don't want to take over the whole house. <laughs> I don't want to take over the whole house. So when I'm not filming or taking pictures, I um, break down the living room and the kitchen and I put it on the top shelf right there. So this is, these shelves are for storing. But I lay it on the floor when I'm taking pictures. I'm actually, I'm actually in the dollhouse taking the pictures. <laughs> this is how I'm able to get the shots that I get. I'm actually in there. I, I push things aside so I can get in there and get in certain angles. That's why I have to use room boxes. And that's why some of the room boxes are broken into half so that I can get in there. So I'm actually in the house. 
and, it, and, and I hope that you guys get an experience that you're there too. That's why I do it that way. Um, I don't know if you guys felt this way when you were little, but um, when I used to um, look at doll houses, let's see. <laughs> Girl, I've been there. <laughs> When I first started my little curvy world, before I even did any lines or anything, because back then I thought I had to build a whole lot of stuff before I even did anything else. If I had it to do all over again, I would have been doing it as I go. So I hate that I didn't um, do that in the beginning. I guess I was a little shy and didn't know, you know, what I was doing or how I was doing it, but... I could have been learning as I go. But in the beginning, I had so many structures. And um, my husband was like, okay, <laughs> where are we going to walk? <laughs> I had like like three dollhouses that I built. See, back then I didn't know about breaking them down into walls. So I actually had mega lifted structures in my living room and you know i was just building i wasn't thinking you know i wasn't thinking about you know the space <laughs> i was just building <laughs> and um that's that's another thing i want to talk to you guys about some of us are builders like we build things and that's what we mostly focus on and some of us love fashion dolls like we love to make them look pretty and make clothes and um you know most of our pictures are focused on the fashion aspect but guess what we all have a part to play here um my focus is building I like to build the whole experience. I, I like to have the whole experience where you see the rooms, you're in the rooms, like you there. It to me it kind of reminds me of a movie set, you know. But um I love both too. Um I make clothes too, but um I guess in this part of the show, since it is in the beginning and, and stuff. I guess I have to build right now, but but I do make clothes as well. But some people, like what I'm saying, some people, um, their focus is just taking pictures of the dolls' um, clothes. I do both. I do both because, you know, I've always been a builder my whole life. Um, I remember in school when we would have science projects, I would go all out and make dioramas and stuff. Did any of you guys do that? <laughs> like my science projects, I went all out. I was building. I built the volcano <laughs> for science. I had the trees and the, and the everything, the dirt, everything. I've always been a detail-oriented person. Um, I get that from my father. He drew a lot, and he's a builder. He builds um, in his backyard. He's building a shed right now. He's always building something and been good with his hands, so I get that from him. I do it on the tiny scale. <laughs> I know it took me a while. I was talking. So it's basically like that. Get a big Sharpie when you want to do the big details. Or you can just see I almost smeared right there. That's basically it. I just traced it. You see that? And you just. Um, you could do the other side if you want. It's enough paper to do. 
Remember, this is tracing paper. I'm not sure if he was here when I first started talking about this. This is just tracing paper that I got from Amazon. Or did I get this from Walmart? I think I got it from Amazon. That's all that is. Get some tacky glue. You put some tacky glue on the edges and stick it on there. Or you could just put it in there like that. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not doing it yet because I want to paint the doors. But I wanted to show you guys that that's all that is. Um, I don't know if you guys saw how I made the real wrought iron out of um, out of uh, wire. You can make wrought iron like that as well. You guys, be really careful when you build and stuff. I got all kind of scratches and burns on me over the years. Be really careful. Make sure you have the right tools. Um, you can use wire. Black wire. See this black wire here? It's real thin. You can find it at the Dollar Tree. You can use that to twist, twist it like that. And see, that makes wrought iron. That's how I was able to make the um, the Jenkins um, swag over their fireplace and stuff to add detail and on her cabinets. Um, the reason why I do a lot of wrought iron with her, it's not that I necessarily love wrought iron, this is just a picture. Can y'all see the picture? Can you see the picture? That's kind of like a wrought iron design too. I don't necessarily like wrought iron, but I just kind of think, okay, if I was from New Orleans where they had wrought iron everywhere, I mean, if you look at pictures of houses in New Orleans, if you've never been there, they got wrought iron everywhere. So I figured if I was from New Orleans and that's how I grew up and I was trying to fix my house up to be like what I'm used to or what I grew up I would have used raw iron so that's why I use a lot of raw iron hey hey I dogged it good to see you <laughs> y'all this is my very first live so clap to have it like this for now okay thank you okay so what i was saying is because she's from new orleans they have a lot of wrought iron so that's what i've been using a lot of wrought iron in her um decor each doll that i would make a room box for i kind of um when i have a storyline kind of think how they would want their rooms to be and i just um do that you know i go on pinterest like i said i went on pinterest and i found this wrought iron door i try so hard y'all to just keep it simple and i i can't <laughs> i can't for the life of me to just keep something simple every time i think i'm just gonna make a, a wall and a door i always have to add details and, and it drives me crazy if i don't so <laughs> So I go all out like that. I mean, I don't mean to. I guess that's just the way I'm, ma I'm made. But um, that's how I did. I went on Pinterest and I found um, a door that I liked. And I just traced it on. Uh, yeah, you like that too? I don't know, girl. They might say we crazy, but I don't care. <laughs> but that's just the way I am. I can't just, I can't just do it simple. I try. But, um... That's all I did. Um, throughout the week, I'm going to be coming on every day, probably. Every day that I'm definitely working on this because I want to get this done. And um, when I come on, I'm not going to announce it. I'm just going to turn on my camera and just start working. And <laughs> when you come, I know it is great for pictures. It really is. It's just it's each thing that we do. It's definitely a project. It's a project. You know, we can't just say we're just going to make something. It's a whole project. 
<laughs> and I learn something every time I do it, you know. But um, I got so much to do. Like this, this is a mailbox. I'm going to be working on that too. Y'all going to see me fits on the mailbox. I made it once when I first started crafting, but I want to make I want to make it jazzy. <laughs> you know how I say jazzy is just fancy. So, I mean, we got so many details here that we're going to be working on. I'm going to have a garage scene where they park in the garage. I'm going to have a lot of stuff. So, um, we're just going to be doing a lot of things together. Um, just wanted to come in right quick to um, introduce myself. I'm Lady Tay, the admin of my little curvy world. And um, it's great to finally meet you guys, finally. And I will be on here tomorrow again in the afternoon after I finish um, with homework and dinner and stuff. That's usually when I do my crafting and I'm just going to get to work, probably play some music or something, and just get to work with you guys. I do a lot of um, things with paper, like Froggy do. I use a lot of paper, so recycled paper. So I'm going to be doing some detailing with that tomorrow. And uh, go ahead and get these doors done, because we still got to do that porch, y'all. I want to get that porch done. Oh, uh, one more thing. I want to show y'all since y'all are here. I've been dying. I've been dying for Juicy to come up with this one. This is Juicy's grill, y'all. Can y'all see it? Can y'all see the grill? I had this grill for like three weeks. And I have not, I have not paid pictures with it yet. Because I wanted to get, I wanted to get this done. I'm going to show y'all how I make my uh, stoning too. We're going to do all of this, okay? So I hope you guys are excited. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go so I can get my son in, the, in a bath and everything. But I'll be here tomorrow. Oh, you like it, huh? See, y'all the first ones to see it. Uh, I ain't showed this to nobody yet. This is grill, y'all. He gonna be grilling daddy. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole scene. It's gonna be funny. <laughs> but I'm gonna show y'all all of this, how I did all of this, okay? I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, okay? And I love you guys. See y'all tomorrow, okay? Good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good night.